Welcome to the Acute Medical Unit, AMU, at Epsom Hospital. This is a film to show how working together and using new mobile technology has drastically improved patient outcomes. Patients are now leaving the hospital faster and with well-organised social care support in place, knowing they will be safe and supported at home. The new way of working has transformed the relationship between the health and social care professionals and demonstrates the commitment and dedication of all involved. The work this team has achieved is innovative, pioneering, highly effective and inspiring. As a result, the team, which is based in the acute medical unit, AMU, is working hard to share their approach and is leading the way in promoting its benefits to other teams in Surrey. Collaborative working within the AMU delivers a service that better meets people's needs. Standards of quality have been improved significantly. So we've arrived at AMU from our office downstairs. Historically, social care teams have been tended to be hidden away on hospital sites. Now we're up here co-located, we're more accessible and more visible. The new AMU model was established in 2011 at Epsom General Hospital. It's a 56 bedded unit across two wards. It has 16 assessment beds and 40 short stay beds designed for patients hospital stays of up to 72 hours. The new unit is supported by a team of four acute physicians who work directly on the unit providing senior consultant reviews to all patients every day. Prior to the introduction of the new model, consultant ward rounds took place at varying times of the day and did not coordinate with discharge planning meetings. This lack of communication resulted in patients staying in hospital longer than necessary. The AMU receives all admissions to hospital, apart from people needing treatment for stroke. After patients are admitted, they are assessed in the AMU to determine their treatment plan. If a patient needs to stay in hospital for a long time, they are transferred to a speciality ward. If the patient only needs to be in hospital for a short period, of up to 72 hours, they will be moved to one of the short stay beds on the AMU and discharged home when fit. A large number of people admitted to the AMU are older and may need some care support in order to return safely to their home. With the new way of working, discharging decisions are now made with the input of the most up-to-date information. Prior to the unit opening, a review of discharge pathways at the hospital was carried out, involving health and social care staff to identify areas for improvement. Mutual goals were agreed and directed the focus of the work. The goals were the best possible outcome for each person, taking into account the views of their family and friends. People do not remain in hospital for longer than they need to. People return home at the appropriate time, with social care support in place if needed. Mrs Smith, who's 87 years old, this lady lives alone, um, we have the OT report and she requires BD packaging care. Having a laptop and a mobile has given us brilliant flexible working. We're able to work on the ward, um, at patients' beds and also work from home. Having a mobile phone means that we can be contacted a lot more easily. Um, to be able to respond a lot more quickly. Um, I think working here at the weekends has made a huge difference, not only to patients, but to their families and their carers. Having the time here on a Saturday gives us opportunities to open up effective communication with everybody, so it's a much beneficial, much more beneficial outcomes, I think, for everyone. And an example of something that I've done here is I work with a fantastic lady who has just reached her 100th birthday, um, but unfortunately she came into hospital just before she was due to have a party that was organised by her family. So I worked very closely with OT and physio and collectively we managed to get this lady home in time for her party.
A major achievement and contribution to the success of the Epsom Hospital Social Care Team is the introduction of flexible, extended working hours. This has been changed to 8am to 7pm weekdays and 9am to 1pm weekends. The change was achieved through innovation and commitment to quality. Together staff produced a working schedule that ensured social care availability at the AMU went well beyond what was previously provided. Staff have been able to design a schedule that best suits the needs of the patients and maintains their own work-life balance. Improved outcomes. Prior to the AMU being established, it was exceptional to be discharged from hospital at the weekend. People are now regularly discharged with appropriate support on Saturday and Sunday. For the week ending the 15th of January 2012, seven people were discharged on Saturday and seven on Sunday. An average of between 65 and 70% of people admitted to AMU are discharged to their home rather than transferred to a speciality ward. There has been a different working culture in the unit. People, patients are discharged more quickly and there, there is more mutual respect among the team. The challenges we needed to overcome to introduce flexible evening and weekend working was largely around staff and their personal requirements and their work-life balance, but in addition um, ensuring there was sufficient cover in the office to meet the service needs. As a team we were given a schedule which included the new flexible hours. We were encouraged to look at the schedule and work between us what would benefit us as individuals, as well as the needs of the service. We've introduced two shifts. Um, the traditional 9 to 5 shift still exists, but we've in added in an 11am to 7pm shift um, to cover the evenings. Um, and at the weekends, we now provide 9 to 1 cover on a Saturday and Sunday. Um, but we will be looking to extend those hours as the service grows. Flexible working suits me with my childcare arrangements. I can work it around with my husband and family. During the later shift, I can catch up with tasks at home during the day and also working at the weekend, I get some time off during the week. We are sharing our success with the other acute hospitals. We encourage those hospitals to come visit us and shadow us and see how we work in cohesion with our other team. To date, the Epsom AMU is the most successful example of its type that has been encountered. The team is working hard to share their approach and is leading the way in promoting its benefits to other teams in Surrey. The hospital social care team manager is now working with the clinical lead consultant to roll out the AMU model to other wards in the hospital. Across Surrey, what has been achieved in Epsom will be used as a basis to improve quality in other areas. Well, we have a much closer working relationship, which means, uh, in essence, patients uh, have a better pathway through the hospital if they require joint care from healthcare and from social services. Uh, and we now hope that this better relationship means that we can actually develop uh, a better process outside the acute medicine unit for the rest of the hospital. For us, I think uh, it's demonstrated in the nursing aspect, improvements in partnership working. We've moved forward with the discharge teams and as uh, Gwana said, you know, we've seen this uh, evolve on the acute medical assessment unit and now we are looking to roll that out across the other areas across the trust which we think will really benefit all of our patients.